Good morning everyone, it's Sherry with Studio 28E and I have been trying to get rid of some of my scraps and I've made these five um, little, what I call anything goes journal. Um, they were made with extra sheets of paper I had left over or half sheets, not necessarily a theme to any one of them. Uh, it could be a color scheme, but basically there's no, I mean, it's not like this one's hearts and newspaper and this one's all black and white and or whatever. But um, they're good uh, for uh, to put in your purses or whatever to use for your shopping list. And so let's do a quick run through. They're, um, these are the same size, which is, let's see. Just about five inches long by three and a half inches wide. And it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 17, 18 pages, 18, 36 pages, and then you want to double that, so it'd be 62 pages. So in the front, we have, um, this is a piece of scrapbook paper. I put these two hearts on here. They're kind of wonky hearts. I used a heart punch, and the tie is just um, Baker's twine. See if I can get this a little bit bigger. Okay. Bring you back up. Let me a little room. Okay. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. You know, it's just what I felt like doing at the time with the pages I had. This is a little page I had cut a bird out of, so I use that as a flip up, and you can write on the page behind it. This is um, actually it's red cabbage dyed paper some of it dried i didn't do anything with it. it didn't go in the oven it was just you know what i had as a backdrop some of it dried blue some of it dried brown and but it left a nice texture and here's a just a piece of blue food color dyed paper here's a purplish peach stenciled page with some washi here's a little flip up you can write on and here's a tag some tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. Here's um this is ooh, I think it's avocado dyed. I don't believe it's um no it's red cabbage stern blue. And here's some washi. And this has a little bit of uh, shimmer mist on it. Piece of scrapbook paper piece of note paper, some washi on a piece of blue dyed paper, another piece of tea stained paper or coffee stained paper. There's a bird page from a bird book, vintage bird book. Here's a little piece of stencil paper that was left over. Copy paper. Here's a little tuck spot with two little tags in it. These are my oversprays from my shimmer mist. So they're made from that. It's a piece of scrapbook. Here's a piece of scrapbook paper with a piece of washing with books on it. It's a fairly large tag that goes in this pocket. It's a piece of washi on this page. The other side of the coffee. Just a Tim Holtz piece of ephemera with a little um, recollections flower or paper studio flower. Here's um, more scrapbook paper. We're in the center. Here's a writing page that is made out of that same pink you saw on the other page. There's a pocket with the book washi. This page is um, the, okay, come on, go back in there. The orange or peach with the purple stencil on it. And this is a bird page that I turned into an envelope. It's the center of the book and it's got some cutouts in it. Uh, to use to decorate or write on or whatever. 
And here's um, the other side of that orange or peachy color with the lavender stencil and a bird. And here's a flip down and right on that on scrap paper. Back side, here's just a piece of uh, looks like white cardstock, set tea stained uh, paper, scrapbook paper with some washi, and some scrapbook paper. He has a butterfly with a piece of um, green dyed paper that I've inked up. Here's another pocket with a tag. Some tea dyed paper, coffee stained paper, I'm not sure which. Here's the other side of that tea stain. Blue dyed. I think that's the cabbage. And here's notebook paper. A piece of scrapbook paper. Here's that pink and here's a tag. This also flips up. I get my finger under it. You hear my printer in the background. There's that. There's the coffee dyed. There's a tag, like a layaway kind of tag. Right on, it's got a leaf and a piece of paper and a bird that's been layered on it and a belly bean and a piece of washi. Here's some more of that orangey peachy color with the stencil. And here's the um, cabbage dyed paper. Now this little pink one, it's the same size. It's got a button closure that uh, wraps around much like an inter-office envelope. Should have just about the same amount of pages in it. It's got coffee stained or tea stained paper, scrapbook paper. It's got a pocket with tags in it with washi decorating the bottom of the tag. There's that uh, cabbage dyed paper. The um, splash was off of his two little tags one with a dragonfly and one with a washi, and you can write on the back of that. This is the piece of stationery. Here's our letterhead paper. Uh, this is uh, where I it's off spray, you know, spray from my color from my. You know, my metallic sprays. Glimmer mist, shimmer mist. And this is where I tried sewing it with my new sewing machine. I was just, a, I just figured I'd leave it there. This is cabbage dyed paper. This one has a few little tabs in it. This is coffee dyed paper. Scrapbook paper with telephones. A page from the bird book. This piece of, if there was scrap paper with washi. This is a uh, note paper. A little tab on it. And here's another piece of uh, dyed coffee dyed paper with two little tags. This one has a dog. This one just has a little string. And here's a stencil, uh, not a stencil a stamp, and it's got a little washi tab. Here's a sprayed sheet of paper. Um, here's the inside of the signature, middle of the signature, and it's made with a bird page. And it's got a little sheet of writing paper. And then here's a flip down, right on. That's that same pink. I'm trying to say that's my avocado, but I'm not quite sure. And more of that same torn. It's just extra sheets of, of whatever that um, are you know good for notes or what. A few little bugs with some. Washing the other side of that experimental sewing machine paper. There's a flip out to your right on. There's that uh, overspray or whatever. Here's two little tags and a pocket. And that's the end. That's the last page, the coffee page. It's got a stamp on it. And this is uh, kind of looks a little bit, it is a um, ledger. Now, this one is about four inches wide and five and a half inches tall and it's got a little flower for the closure a little twine a little bling a little washi scrapbook paper and the spine has washi on it these have a little bit more in them i think um than the first 
First page has some stamps on it. It's Tim Holtz stamp. Second page is a pocket with a little bit of a cluster. And a uh, library card to write on the back or whatever. There's a stamp. And this is um, parchment paper. As in baking parchment paper. Here's um, some washing. This one has some colored paper in it. There's some of the scrapbook paper, a piece of ledger paper that's got some stamps on it, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, this is scrapbook paper with a stamp, there's that sprayed paper, here's a flip up and a pocket with a large tag, scrapbook, here's a belly band with some bling, and here's a little journal card, and right on the back of that, yes. It's tea stains or coffee stain rather. It's a music sheet is coming up. I see it. I can get my fingers to work. A little bit of washi on there. See nothing fancy. If you want to decorate them more, that's fine. If you just want to use them to jot notes in. Um, whatever. Have your kids scribble on them. Whatever. Here's a little pocket. This is the center signature and it's got a writing page inside. This is actually eco dyed paper. Um, scrap of what I had left over from something. Uh, coffee or tea stained paper. Here's some little tags. There's a pocket with some stamping. Some copy paper, I believe. Let me see. Uh, ledger, parchment, music. And I'm going quickly. These don't need a whole lot of explanation. Coffee. Uh, the back side of this is stamped. It's cup, uh, scrapbook paper, same as this. This has a postage stamp on it. That's coffee dye. This is a spray. Actually, it's, it's all over sprays is what it is. And this is scrapbook paper. This is a butterfly that was punched out with Martha Stewart. Washi with a button. Ledger, scrapbook, green with postage, coffee. There's another pocket uh, with a journaling card, a button, and some more so you can flip up and write on it. That's eco dyed paper, parchment paper, and here's a little flip out that you can write on. Scrapbook paper, and it's held on with washi, and that's the end of this one. And the fourth one is has a black cover that says journal that I stamped with individual letters on the front and on the back I have this book belongs to stamp. And on the inside it's basically the same. We've got the pocket. This has a little four page notebook that says notes and then there's a little bird. And this is um, stationary and a punch, Martha to a punch butterfly. Here's some scrap paper. This is all scrap paper. This is that letterhead. This is parchment. This is the letterhead. This one I think has more blank pages. This is the um, scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper. More scrapbook paper. Letterhead. Scrapbook. Scrapbook. This one has a lot of blank pages. Um, thoughts, I stamped thoughts on there. There's a bag I had um, that I got from someone. There's a tag in it. And here's a little writing. Darn, my fingers don't want to work this morning at all. Anyway, it opens up. There we go. And that's in that side. Uh, this side has another, this is a little bit larger size sheet. And this has a text spot on the top with a writing sheet and paper um, ribbon and a bow. And this is packaging from Tim Holtz. There's a little writing pad kind of thing I stuck to that. Um, more blank pages to write on. 
That's another one of those birds. Maybe it's a Tim Holtz bird. <clears throat> Punch I used, I believe, to do. And inside, here's a two. Inside this pocket, two little journal cards or whatever, and then that's the end of it. And I think this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, eighty pages. Um, if you want to count front and back, and we're counting this bag. And here's the last one, and it is about four and a quarter inches or four inches wide, maybe four and a quarter, and it is five and a half inches, and it's got washi on the front. Closure is this twine held on by this button. The spine has, uh, this has been glued on. It's washi tape. There's a little flower. Here's some um, twine, and let's look in here. It's just going to go quickly. The dragonfly, we've got washi. This is a flip up, flip down. Grass paper, some sorry silk, a bird, and some tape, washi tape. As I said, there's really no rhyme or reason because um, this is just stuff I had left over and it was all good, and I didn't really have anything. You know what to do with it, and I really don't want to throw it away. So I figured I do this every so often, get rid of some of the scraps this way. Some stamping, music sheet, tag. This is a center. This is a Tag. Another pocket. I believe this is a flip up. The um, two tags held together with a brad. This is made out of Tim Holtz packaging. It's two of them. They have a line so you can write on the back. Music. pocket, some scraps, I made um, a banner type um, embellishment with, with a vintage button, some tags, it's another, I think this is just a pocket, oh. maybe it is, another writing sheet, oh, there's a pop up. Here's um, a pocket with a good size tag in it. And there's one of those birds and some washi. This is old fabric I had. Uh, let's see. A little stamping, and that's the end of that. I'll post these later uh, in my Etsy. They, um, Obviously, it won't be very expensive, but um, just a good way to get rid of scraps, and, you know, maybe somebody would like them. Like I said, I've made them before. I just haven't had time to do this. Some of these I actually found in my basket ready to put together. I just, I don't know. They've been in there for a long time. Well, thank you for watching, and I will uh, talk to you later. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, yeah, this is Sherry. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me to be doing this. Thanks again. Bye-bye.